Morning, everybody. Charlie checking in. Mwah. Right there. Reaching out to all my angels and demons. Man, this is a aggravating vlog right here. This is the third time that I have tried to do this vlog. The first time uh, I had it faced uh, uh, outward, so I'm pointing away from me while I'm doing the vlog. <laughs> the second time I did the whole vlog, it was, it was it was turned sideways. It would not turn back sideways. I couldn't get it to fix, so uh, here we are again. L lucky number three, man. Third time's a charm, right? So... We're going to try to do this again. <laughs> Happy Sunday to all of you. Um, hope you. Hopefully you guys will find an absolution in any way that you can, the best way possible. You know, peace for the soul is, is just so important to us. And uh, hopefully you guys find that. Um, it's WrestleMania Sunday. woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I am so ready for WrestleMania Sunday, man. Damn. I don't watch wrestling. Uh, not really anymore. I was I was born in the Attitude Era, so I uh, I'm big on Stone Cold, The Rock, NWO, DX, and wrestling just does not have that anymore. Wrestling is a far cry from what it was, but uh, but everyone still watches WrestleMania. It's still an institution in this house, and we will be watching. <laughs> um, there's a couple stories that that. Uh, that, I, that I'm reminded of every WrestleMania. Every year at WrestleMania, there's two stories that I'm always reminded of. <laughs> and they have to do with my sister, Jennifer. Uh, at this time, Jennifer was pregnant with JC, her firstborn. And I can't remember if he was born on WrestleMania or the day after WrestleMania. It's one of those two. I'll, <laughs> I'll look into it. He was born April 2nd. I think it's 2000. And, uh, yeah, dig. Uh, maybe it's 2001. God, I'm so, I'm so bad. It was WrestleMania that Stone Cold uh, joined Vince McMahon. It was the best entrance. It was the best ending I I've ever seen. It's probably my favorite WrestleManias. And uh, we didn't go to the hospital with Jennifer. <laughs> First off, let me let me start before that and tell you guys um, this one story that happened uh, probably a week or two before WrestleMania. <laughs> my dad's cousin, I'm not not cousin. My dad's niece went to the Caribbean. And uh, uh, on a cruise, and brought back everybody uh, uh, a gift. <laughs> and she brought dad back some coconut rum. <laughs> well, you know me and alcohol. Uh, I'm still underage at this time. I, I was drinking then. And <laughs> dad opens up his rum, has a couple of sips of a couple of shots, and uh, locks it back up, puts it up in his um, in his um, china cabinet, and uh, says, "Don't touch it. Don't mess with my damn rum." And he leaves. Well, you know me. Ten minutes after he leaves, I didn't crack that bottle open and down half of it. <laughs> Drink about half of it and filled it back up with water like he wouldn't know, right? <laughs> and uh, 20 minutes later, I'm like, I'm not drunk. I would have been drunk, but I wasn't drunk yet. So I went ahead and just finished off the freaking bottle and filled it all back up with water. And um, didn't care if I got caught. Went over to my friend's house and uh, started hitting on his brother's girlfriend, which is a no-no, man. And... And they kicked me out. They told me to go home. She was uncomfortable. And <laughs> I remember passing out on the trampoline with my shirt off and my own puke crying that nobody loved me. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. I woke up that night, and I don't know what I was pissed about, but I called my friend up and yelled at him. And, and his brother got on the phone, which was his girlfriend I was playing, I was messing with. And she started, he started yelling at me and telling me, meet me outside. I'll beat the crap out of you. So what do I do? I go outside. Well, let's go, right? <laughs> I mean, it's dark time by now. I meet him out there in the middle of the road. And I think that I'm, I'm so wasted. I think that I'm fighting Jason, right? Until his brother gets up on me. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in the ditch. And his brother's like 6'6", six, six, 280 pounds. <laughs> I'm in the ditch getting just bow, 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 bow. Face down. This guy's beating the crap out of me. Him and his brother are jumping me, right? And Jennifer, she's almost, she's right, right at nine months pregnant, comes busting out the house with a freaking butcher knife, like 12 inches long. And she's ready to cut these guys. Get the hell off my damn brother. <laughs> I know we've had issues and stuff like that, but we always take up for each other. I feel so bad thinking about it after that that I always thought about her running out there to help me. And then what if she had fell on that knife, man? No more Jennifer, no more JC. You know, violence is not the way to go, you know, but <laughs> I was wasted that night, and uh, I just didn't care. And she came out there and, and really stuck up for me. I love you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> I'll never forget that night. 
And then the next time was WrestleMania. She ended up going in lever, uh, going into labor on WrestleMania. <laughs> and uh, we didn't go. We stayed home and watched WrestleMania. <laughs> like I said, we wouldn't have been able to let in, be let into the operating room anyway. It would probably just been Josh. <laughs> he kept calling like every 10 minutes. Okay, who won? Okay, who won? And she would get so mad at him that, yeah, that he was just because he loved wrestling. Too. And it's ironic, JC being born on wrestling, and he loves it to death. I don't know if I've seen a bigger fan besides Michael, maybe. But, uh, but yeah, we stayed home. We, we invited some friends over. Uh, and thinking back on it, you know, it's probably the best decision I ever made. I'm sorry. But like I say, we wouldn't have been able to get into the operating room anyway. The delivery room, I guess I should say. Uh, and like I say, it was the WrestleMania that Stone Cold joined Vince, turned on The Rock. Um, it was one of the biggest surprises I've ever seen in my life. No one would have ever expected Stone Cold, corporate Stone Cold. Uh, <laughs> it was one of the best entrances i ever seen. Just saw the entrance uh, for the new one uh, yesterday. The New Day had unveiled it, and it looks better. So I just I can't wait for tonight. But uh, every time I think about WrestleMania, <laughs> like those two things, I think about getting beat down in a ditch, <laughs> and Jennifer about to kill some people, and then I think about all of us, Jennifer being in the hospital <laughs> while we're all at home watching WrestleMania. Me, Michael, Dad, and we had some friends over. We had a party. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the next day I went and saw Jennifer. We saw the baby. Didn't really miss nothing. Nah. Only thing I would have missed was Stone Cold turning... And joining Vince if I had stayed home. And I would have hated it for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much kind of my WrestleMania story. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Seeing, uh, listening to me damn get drunk and jumped. <laughs> I know some of you guys probably look forward to that. But, yeah, I'm so glad that, I'm, that, I've, that I've changed. I'm, I'm a far cry from, from the man I was. And I'm um, just so happy and thankful and blessed for, for the family I have and the friends, all of you that I have. Um, that's, what, uh, that's what you guys keep me going, and I thank you so much for it. We're going to be doing a, uh, the Q&A today. I asked you yesterday, 1 through 50. The top 10 closest will get, um, will get polled. They'll get answered, and they'll get a nice big fat shout-out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a number now. I'm going to say 18. Boom. So I'll make a little lottery, little lottery thing next time. But for now, we're just gonna pick the number 18, top 10 closest to 18. You guys will get your answers. Uh, you get your questions answered. I don't know why I keep messing that up. It burns me. You will get your questions answered. I promise you. <laughs> so anyway, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it here, and I'm gonna do some things for Dad and enjoy the day. You all guys enjoy your day too, and I'll holler at you tonight. Peace.